I'm right here. And I tripped again, always so close. And I get closer each time, but I don't know who I'm chasing, or what for and why. Anyway, my name is Brad Jenkins, and at the tender age of 21, I took all my ambitions, big dreams, and determination to the city of angels, Los Angeles, to pursue my dream to be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. So far, I've started out with a bang. 10 interviews, 10 no's, and I thought for sure I would have a job by now. I have quite the resume. It's like psychological warfare here. I imagine it's only gonna get more intense. It's like the whole city is plotting their next move so he or she can secure their larger-than-life ambitious goals and dreams, like me. I'll live in the moment with my vision in sight and make the best out of each opportunity. And what better way to start the day off with my morning bowl of oatmeal? Brad. 11 a.m. will do just fine. Thank you very much. See you then. Now you've seen all these weak sectors. We need to go out and get our numbers up. It's particularly vital going into the second quarter. I cannot stress how displeased I will be if I end up with the same report like this. Do you understand? Chris, that beard has to go. You look like some homeless bastard of a hooker knocked up by a Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> Was I making a joke? That's what I thought. Now you need to go out there and get the numbers up. Otherwise, I'll be turning tricks. Chris. Now the rest of you, go to work. Make it happen. Mr. Preston. Sorry, we met. No, sir, but I'm a huge admirer. You weren't the one who sent the flowers yesterday. No, I did not. But I have been following your career. You are wherever I'd like to be one day. Brad Jenkins. I'm here to meet Interviewing with... with the president of my company. Mr. Stein has mentioned your name. You're pretty young looking for someone with such lofty talk. And you managed to get an interview with the president, no less. But why should I hire you, give you a job that you want, which is... I don't want your job, sir. I just want to work for you, learn from you, and then eventually one day branch off onto my own, start my own Fortune 500 company. Well, take some advice, kid. Start with getting a job first. That's why I'm here. I think I have a lot to offer this company. I think that you and Mr. Stein will feel the same way. Ambitious and confident. I better watch my back. You never know, Mr. Preston. I'll make sure I do, Mr. Jenkins. Good luck with the job interview. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. You must be the 11 o'clock. Yes, I am, Brad Jenkins. Right this way. Thank you. Smack that hard, then get that cream. Yeah. Talking out the lip like I was really crazy. Shooting from the hip like now really pay. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Mr. Stein? Jenkins, come on in. Please. 
Thank you very much. Have a seat. Let's see, what do we got here? Okay, so tell me, Mr. Jenkins, why Preston Enterprises? Mr. Stein, I realize that I'm young, but I see that as an asset. See, with my youth and my well-rounded knowledge of business, I firmly believe I can help this company reach heights that has yet to be achieved. I take direction very well. I'm a quick learner, punctual, and I always get the job done. That's fine and well, but why Preston Enterprises? I apologize for straying off topic. I'm just excited for this new possibility. That's okay. Well, I was very impressed with how Mr. Preston turned this company into the 15th largest Fortune 500 company in under five years. That and finding the time to run three other companies, amazing. I mean, that is the type of person I would like to work under, so I can drink from his knowledge and be able to find my place in this fast-paced world. Well, Mr. Preston definitely knows what he wants, but we hire the best because that's what we can afford is to hire the best. Mr. Stein, I used to wake up at 4 a.m. every morning for a year while going to school. I shaved metal for the military, which we would then ship off so they could build their aircrafts and such. I would so often just put the metal under the microscope and just stare at its beauty. I find it fascinating, Mr. Stein, that there's so much delicacy and work that goes into one part. One minute part and then off onto a larger, more stable creation. I think one should know these things to understand how to build a company from the ground up and be able to foster its growth. I know I can gain a better perspective of this knowledge by working here. Let's see. Four years in business school, two years of college, and president of your business class. A few awards. Very impressive, Mr. Jenkins. Thank you very much. Looks like you'll be hearing from us by the end of the week. Terrific. Have a nice day. Nice to meet you. What can I get you? I get a vodka rocks. You're not from around here, are you? How'd you guess? Lifestyle, man. <laughs> what can I say? I like to dress for success. Nothing wrong with that. I'm Tyrell. Oh, Brad. Brad Jenkins. Oh, all right. Nice to meet you. So where you from, Brad? Tiburon. How you liking it so far? Oh, I like it. I don't know too much yet, so I'm just trying to get out there, you know? <laughs> yeah, I hear that, man. You know what? Take my car. I can show you a hot spot. All right, I just might do that, man. Thanks a lot. Do that, yeah, no problem. Hi, I'm Jenna. Whoa. Hey, ladies, how are you doing? I'm Brad. Nice to meet you, ladies. Well, Bradley, can I call you Bradley? Only you. Hey, what about me? Okay, you too, but that's it. That's our little deal. Let's get around. Yeah, yeah, what will it be? Get them all a shot of tequila. Hey, thank you. Tequila it is. Get one for my man here, too. All right. All right. Let's party. Um. So, Bradley, what brings you out here tonight? Well, I'm celebrating and exploring this new and crazy city. Coming up. See, today I got this job at this very successful company. I'm going to start there, then grow my own. Hmm. <laughs> and guess what, ladies? What? My company is gonna be a Fortune 500 company. Oh, that's hot. Come on, come on. Mm, Cheers to that? a beautiful life and lots of success. Ooh. 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 Guess who just Ooh. got hotter? You ladies, of course. Oh, yeah. No, you, Bradley. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, yes. though. It wasn't easy. I heard a lot of no's. But I felt real good about today. Well, you should. You should. Absolutely. It's a doggy dog world. Yeah, so many people out there can't see what's in front of their face. They're so blind. Miss out on great opportunities. Oh my God, I know. It's disgusting. Like, hello. Yeah. Guess what, Brad? Huh. I want you, Bradley. Mm. That makes two of us. You know what, Bradley? I know what the hell I want. Mm -hmm. I can vouch for that. Oh, so raunchy and spontaneous. My turn. <laughs> Let's dance. Let's go, ladies. Ooh. Hey, I'll talk to you later, Tyrell. <laughs> On the house? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, damn, work here and I don't get that kind of tail. Lucky bastard.
How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. What's your name? I'm Tyrell. What's yours? Christina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Christina. Can I buy you a drink? Oh, yes, definitely. Can I have two vodka grams? Coming up. So is this your first time here? Nah, I come here often. I'm the man around here. Everybody know me. Gotcha. Really? Yeah. Uh, fellas, fellas, fellas. Hey, uh, she spoke yes, before. Uh, fellas. well said. She take it. The ladies take it. Why don't you head on back there? Have a good one. Calm down. You're starting to slur. Okay. Yeah, so back to me and you. You're looking real good tonight. Thank you know you. that, right? You look real good tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know what? Let's take this party back to my place. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, I guess on the house as well. Brick. Chris, have a seat. Thank you. Glass of wine? Sure, thank you. Help yourself. What's the occasion here? So, Chris, this guy, Brad Jenkins. Oh, he'd make a damn good employee. No. Excuse me? That's what I said. I've looked over his files, and there seems to be something missing. Are you talking about the same Brad Jenkins I interviewed yesterday? I believe so. Yesterday morning, 11 a.m. Well, he'd make a great addition to the company. I don't have to ever have to explain myself. Do you understand? And Chris, I would suggest you spread the word to anyone who wants to hire him, or there will be problems. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Look at me. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Good. Have a good evening. Close the door on the way out. Julius, there has to be a way we can get this kid. Piece of cake. It's done. Find somebody tonight. This kid has far too much potential. I looked over page after page of his accomplishments. The best school and the best everything. It makes me sick. It's like he knows the ins and outs of everything already. Why don't you just give him a chance? Why? Why should I give him a chance to destroy everything I've accomplished from the ground upwards? Are you crazy? A threat to my money, my name, everything. I want this kid destroyed to a place where he can never recover. Do you understand? It's done. Bingo. Driver, pull up right here. Time for a little entertainment, sir. The ones I'm standing, those are our guys. You little bitches ready to get the shit kicked out of you? Peace. <laughs>
fellas. Fellas, miss. Can we help you? Hopefully. Nice show, by the way. It happened, so what's up? Do you know him? Nah, yeah, you know him? Nah, I can't say I do. I don't either. I haven't seen him. Go wait in the car, huh? You guys live around here, right? Maybe. What's it to you? I need you to get to know him. His name's Brad Jenkinson, right away, too. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm sorry, did I stutter? Listen, man, I'm pissed right now. Do not fuck with us. I know you don't know me yet, so I'm gonna do you a favor this time and let that slide. <laughs> oh, it's yeah? It's cool, baby, it's cool. Cool, man, cool. Look, there's a situation. I can't tell you what it is. I don't want you guys to make the wrong choice here. That'll just mess up your life. What the fuck? Are you nuts? Yo, please let me handle this guy right now. Danny, shut up. Danny, huh? You think you're brave? Let me show you something. See that car right there? Inside that car's a very important man waiting for some good news. If I go back to him without it, things are gonna end up bad for you. Oh my god. Can you believe this shit? This guy comes into our neighborhood, then tries to pull this shit? Come on, man. Danny, shut the fuck up. Fuck. Excuse my friend. He only speaks out at the wrong time. This is for your time. It'll make your decision a little easier. What's the deal? Real easy. On the back of this picture is Brad's address. I need you to become his friend, his best friend. Take him in like he's one of your own. I need you to continue this until I say otherwise. It'll be real easy. Just moved here a couple weeks ago. He lives here just like you guys. I need you to continue this until I say otherwise. And I'm gonna check in often. That's fine. That's it. And fellas, if I find out my money's not being utilized properly, it's gonna make me mad. And believe me, you don't wanna make me mad. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Great. See you around. What, man? So we're just gonna take the money? Look, man, we need it, man. We've done worse for less. So what? We're gonna take the wad of money from fucking Mr. GQ over there without even talking about it? Danny, you want out? No, man, I don't want out. Sometimes I just wanna be heard. Just say something worth listening to. Fuck. We need money. He's offering it. No discussions. That's it. Fine, whatever. Let's get out of here. All right. Let's go. Hi. How you doing? Good. You must be the new tenant on the second floor. Yeah, Brad. Jamie. Nice to meet you. I'm Jamie. I live on the third floor. Oh, nice to meet you, Jamie. So how's the building been treating you so far? Oh, it's doing good. No complaints. Good. Where'd you move from? Tiburon. No kidding. I'm from San Francisco. Oh, wow. It's good to know somebody from back home. Yeah. You never know who you're going to meet out here. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Speaking of meeting, have you run into Miss Livingston yet? She lives three doors down from you. No, I haven't. Really? She's our resident crazy. Oh my god. What did she do? <laughs> Everything stereotypical that you know about a crazy person, that's her. Like forecast, she talks to herself. Crazy hair out to here. At least she perms it. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, I apologize. I have a meeting to get to. Oh, sure, yeah. Don't it was nice you. to meet you. Uh, you too. I'll see you around? Yeah, definitely. Good, all right. <laughs> Bye. Looking forward to it. So, uh, thank you for meeting me today. It's my pleasure. All right, well, here's my resume. Great. That's very impressive, Brad. Why do you just want to be an intern? You could be placed in a good position right away. If only it was that easy. Unfortunately, I've heard a lot of no's. But an intern? Isn't that a bit beneath you? Well, I know what I've done, which is a good amount. But initially, I want to start with the company to get the real world experience. Whatever it is, I'll take any position. I've been interviewed by a few of the top companies in the world, but no bites. Now I just want to start anywhere. Well, that's understandable. Everybody's trying to get their foot in the door. Tough out there. Yeah, it is. And it was tough getting into this position to be considered at all. Great. Well, why don't we start out by you telling me what your ultimate goal is? I want to gain as much knowledge as I can with a great company. Start my own and grow it into a Fortune 500 company. Nice. What kind of time frame are you looking at? I see myself doing this within four to six years starting from today. Wow, that's mighty bold of you. It usually takes a lot longer than that. Usually. But see, not everybody has the heart and the drive as I do for this. I will see this through, John. Out of curiosity, what's preventing you from starting your own company now? I have to build a solid foundation first, so I'm able to answer the five W's. It's all in my plan. I'll move quick, hit my deadlines, but all in a realistic sense. 
But if I move too quick, I'll lose time. It's all about steady progression, John. Definitely sounds like you know what you want, and that's a good start. Definitely a good place to be. It is a start, Oh, but excuse I... me. It might be worse. Please go on. I need to be running already, progressing. But for some reason, John, I can't find a job, so I figure I started as an intern. And since you and I seem to be hitting it off, all right? Actually, Brad, it looks like we've hired our final intern. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm sorry. My boss just texted me to let me know that he hired somebody else. This is what this whole meeting was for, John. For me to become an intern. I understand that, and I apologize, but I'll be sure to keep you in mind for future job openings. <laughs> Unreal. Brad? <clears throat> Brad. Yeah, keep me in mind for the future. Yeah, it was it was great meeting you. Thanks a lot. Take care of yourself. This is fucking ridiculous. Three nights in a row we sit out this character Brad's garage. And for what? See, that's your fucking problem, man. You think this is some big fucking joke? I mean, that cat wasn't lying, man. And those dudes, they were definitely big time. The suits, the escorts, the money? And here you are questioning, like, why we're doing this? As if you need some other fucking reason other than our lives are on the line? I'm still here, aren't I? Yeah, but that mouth of yours? That's gonna get us in some serious fucking trouble. Be cool. Here he comes. Finally. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, guys? Just chilling, waiting for these chicks to come out. What about you? Man, long day, long week. God, just trying to unwind. Check it out. If these chicks don't come out soon, we know this party we were just heading to. If you want, you can join us. Sounds tempting, really, but I'm just gonna have to pass. Sounds like you need to treat yourself, my friend. For what? Check this out. I don't do this often. But I'm gonna introduce you to Pamela. Yo, man, Pamela is hot. Real job. Let's put it this way. It's in the bag. She likes your type. Pamela and I, we've known each other for a long time. Yeah, but does he have the game to close the deal? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Come on. <laughs> then prove it, you pretty motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, Brad. See what you got. Huh. You're right. Yeah, I do need to treat myself. I'll tell you what. I'll throw in an added bonus. I'll show you how game is ran. <laughs> That's some funny shit. Check it out. Let's get out of here. These chicks were fives anyway. Say, uh, what are you guys' names? I'm Steve. That's Tommy. This is Danny. Well, I'm Brad. Nice to meet you, Brad. All right, all right, all right. It's time What's to up, party. fellas? What do you got there? Let me check it out. Take a look at that. Best stuff, man. Mm, smells pretty good. All right. What's up, Brad? How you doing? So, Brad, what you drinking? I'm good. You're good? Brad, you're at a party. You can't not drink. <laughs> I have a meeting tomorrow morning that is very that important. you'll be just fine for. One drink ain't gonna kill you, man. Hola, chicos. Who's the new guy? This here is Brad. Brad, this is Pamela, the girl I was telling you about. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what are we drinking? Brad doesn't want one. Claims he's got an appointment so important in the morning, he can't have a drink. Oh, Brad. <laughs> you will have one easy little ring with me. <laughs> well, I guess one drink will kill me. That's what I'm talking about. Let's pour shots all the way around. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Why not, right? Salute, bitches. 
my it's head and my words I'm like dead in this world yeah. No one heard or seen me But one day I'ma spray absurd on your TV Yeah, yo I deserve what I be See I came from a game of fame Surgeons with Z3 Yeah I'm concerned with the C3 Cause even I download and burn songs to see me See me with a Dutch and a smile I had enough with the lies I'm spitting stuff from the Bible Yeah I'm like a duck in the wild Cause the grass is my friend And enough is reliable So I'ma flow higher with the L And I spit with desire to the bell So even if I'm tired as hell I'ma spit ill shit with desire to sell So even if I try and I fail I'ma come back and attack fast to the bell So even if I'm tired as hell I'ma spit ill shit with desire to sell So even if I try and I fail I'ma come back and attack fast to the bell Understand, I'm the man, I do what you don't, you can't what I can, I got fans in my plan, Uncle Sam in Japan, I can spring without toast or the can, is the jam, no grand and grand, but I stand for the hustle, with a piece of the beat, I can manage the puzzle, yeah, you like a man that can double, you sit back, relax, while your man gets in trouble, damn, I just fuck with yeah, my huh? stuff, let's go, well look who's talking, <laughs> Just the stars. There's so many of them. And just to think they're just one tiny part of this huge universe. It reminds me of the metal. That... Yeah, it's all that one already. 6 a.m. metal shavings. Fascinating story, really. But I'd rather be making out with you right now. Whoa, hey, look who it is. Gank Ella making out with yet another guy. Fuck up, Ryan. Hey, why don't you show the lady some respect, huh? Respect? But Pamela ain't no lady. She ain't nothing but a hoe, man. Apologize. Dude, I'm not apologizing for speaking the truth, man. If the smell fits, dude. Fuck you. Yeah, you already did, and it wasn't that memorable, bitch. You haven't heard of us, suddenly you see now, we'll see how You react with treated like a female Knees all bruised up for sucking on our pee now Yeah, that's yeah. just the way we roll There's certain parts of Pomona that you must know Up north be the logo, slinging that dope dope West side connects her in the lemon tree mo And east side is quick to bust back the Oh, man Man, it's one o'clock. I missed my 11 o'clock. Oh, what's the point? Probably just another no. Baby, come back to bed. I'll be right there. Ah, oh, man, this is splitting headache because they're not letting me do shit. I still have a bunch to do. My money's running out, and now I missed my fucking appointment. Ah, screw it. So, Petruco. Yes, sir. Hope you bought your A game. I'm feeling good. Should be. Just find a lot of shipments from next year straight. Things are going well. See, you keep it that way. Cut any potentials away so there's no room for growth for anyone but us. Yeah, one thing you are is a greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Julius. But this greedy son of a bitch is filthy rich and can get anything he wants. And the women, the best in the world. Who gets? I get. Only if I pass them off to you and a hot one is standing next to her. <laughs> hey, man, I'm not complaining. I don't know, Jules. Some people call it greed, ruthless, an ego. You know what I call it? Bring in your A-game. If you really want it, you do whatever it takes. 
to make it. Even if it means destroying someone. Hell, I've almost been destroyed. <laughs> right. Honestly, I know how it felt when I wanted to beat the living shit out of them. Well, I managed to recover. Now look at me. I'm having the last laugh. It's all a game. Entertainment. Think of me as... preparing. Well, that's one hell of a justification. You aren't getting soft to me now, are you? Just... No, no, not at all. Good argument. But one may have another perspective. Guess from yours is actually doing things for the greater good. Yeah. Don't you think I... I know I'm the guy people want to destroy? Don't you think I know I'm the guy that people want to beat up? It's only natural. But the real ones... The real ones will realize my perspective. And eventually thank me. And perhaps make it. I make them stronger. So in other words, you're pairing the uh, elite and true who are meant to be. I'm protecting my legacy and my money by filtering out the dumb ones. It's a truth who I'm preparing to become the elite. It's already be there. Sounds to me like you're playing both sides. Helping out yourself and others. In a way. I get your points though. Loud and clear. Good. Oh, which reminds me. How's our little project going? <laughs> Just as planned. Brad got pulled into a pretty huge party last night. Bunch of drinking, you got in a fight. Today you missed his 11 o'clock. Damn, you're good. <laughs> but don't fuck with the system! Do you understand? Man, we need to find some women. Let's go to a party, bro. Forget it. Where's that gonna get us? My money's running out, all I hear is no from these industry pricks. I'm good, I'm damn good. For some reason, nobody will hire me. Man, I'm right there with you. I'm trying to get my business off the ground too. It's real tough. I didn't know you started your own business. Yeah, it's small time though, no big deal. Barely afford my rent. Tommy helps me out a lot. He's my right hand man. And then there's Danny. All right, I'll start a company. I am a business major. Well, keep at it. Maybe we can help each other out. Start our own company. I'm a master in business. I got it. Jeff. Remember Jeff? He lives upstairs. He's on vacation right now. He has some nice valuables. Let's do it. What are you guys talking about? You say you need to make some money, right? <laughs> How do you even know if he has anything? Trust me. We've partied before. I've been up there. What do you say? You need the money. It's better than being out there in the street, man. I'm not a thief. I can't do it. Danny is cool, man. We'll do it ourselves. He wants to starve, let him starve. Can't force him to do anything he don't want to do. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Oh, Brad. Let's go. Yeah, later, Brad. Fuck it. Is jealousy in the guy, so can't think of anything better. Like I'm the main topic, pathetic. Get a life, forget a grip. Learn a hobby, a better you just get out my guys. Put it in the closet. Thinking I'm coming quick to hurt you. Consider this like out pussy because you passed your curfew. Man, it means hey, grab that computer, man. What will you say about me when the world sees me shine? I'll read it in the tabloid. Let's go, let's go. Just want to be bad boys. I'm trying to take what's hey, not a bad score. The truth sticks real fit. So if you Good job, fellas. Woo! We're cool, man. Danny and I got some other shit to attend to. We'll meet back later, pick up the rest of the shit. Sounds good. You good? I'm good. Sweet. You ready to roll? Hey, man, just let's do something here. bad like this. Just seems like the only choice. I mean, I can't catch a break. Rush is awesome, right? 
I've never done this before. It's wrong. It's I know it's wrong, but <laughs> it's I. Hey, I've, you gotta pop your cherry sometime, bro. That's right. Hey, you did good, man. That's right. Later, Brad. Later. Oh, hi. Hey, how are you Is doing? Brad here? Jamie, great to see Thanks. you. Come on in. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, not at all. It brings you by. I just wanted to be the official welcome wagon. A couple weeks late, I know, but it's a thought that counts, right? Absolutely. <laughs> it's my favorite. Good, I hope you like it. It's Apple. Wow. <laughs> Look what you've done with the place. I haven't had a lot of time to unpack, so just putting a few things out. But I've just been so busy. Hmm. What are you doing tomorrow? Um, nothing. Weird, because I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything? I think I should come over tomorrow and help you unpack. No, that's not necessary. No, it is. Actually, you'd be helping me. Really? Yeah. I'm studying to be an interior designer. So... This is like the perfect hands-on experience, you know? Well, if it's gonna help you out, yeah, come on by. Yeah, definitely. It'd be great. 10 o'clock tomorrow, can I? 10 o'clock, perfect. Really? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. All right. Well, then I'll see you tomorrow. Can't okay. wait. <gasps> Bye. See you later. Have a good night. One second, I'm coming. <clears throat> hey, I was beginning to think that you forgot about me. No, I wouldn't forget about you. Come on in. Are you sure? Because if it's bad time, I can come back later. Oh, no, I just woke up a little later than expected. That's it. Well, it wasn't the sleepy look I was talking about. You seem worried. Wow, am I that transparent? No, I just have pretty good intuition about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll say. I guess you can say I'm a little stressed out. Well, it's your lucky day, because I'm a great listener. Well, come on in. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Would you like something to drink, or I can whip you something up? No, I'm okay, thanks. Oh, it's my pleasure. So what's going on? It wouldn't interest you. Really? Try me. It's just... I don't know, Jamie. I'm stuck. Why? I moved down here so I can gain the knowledge I need to start my own company. So I can learn more, see more. But for some reason, nobody will give me a job. I just want to experience all that I need to know. All I need is one shot. Brad, all that you need to know is out there. That's why I'm trying to get a job at a successful company. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to be rude, it's just... It's just... I don't know what to do. It's okay. Yeah, there's just such an is killing everyone. I mean, look at the career that I'm trying to pursue. Interior decorators? It's frivolous money. People are tightening their belts. But it's what I love. If it's what you love, you need to stick with it. Yeah. When was the last time you went on a job interview? Three weeks ago. 14 no's, not a single yes. Wow. If you saw my resume, it's more than enough experience. It's bullshit. Everybody's blinded by the future talent. Everybody only sees now, they only think now. I know, just by speaking with you right now, I can tell that you know the business. And if you don't know the answer, you probably know where to go to get it. And once you know the system, 
He can get all those answers out there, and then he just keep getting those answers. Over and over again, you can make it work. That makes sense. I think the best thing to do is just to get a job right now, even if it's not in the area that you want to. Just save up some money, you know, start your own company. Those answers are out there. Yeah, I can do that. You know one of the greatest qualities of a successful person is being open-minded. I can tell you have that quality. That knowledge is power. The more you listen, the more you learn, Brad. And knowledge is success. Just cut out all your bad seeds, all the negative energy, all the leeches. Just think positive. If you think positivity, you're gonna succeed. Thank you, Jamie, I really needed that. You can do it. You know what to do. You wanna get working on this now? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. What do we got? I forgot, I have an appointment. We'll see each other again, most definitely. Really? Yeah, of course, are you kidding me? I'm so sorry, I totally forgot. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay, I'll come by later. We, we, we started something very nice here. Well, we're not done yet, mister. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Here, let me walk you out. Wait, you're not gonna make me put up frilly stuff, are you? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> hey, remember our talk. I will. Keep your head up, okay? Definitely. Okay, come Let's on. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for walking me out. Oh, my pleasure. Well, ho, 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 hey. what oh. do we have here? Deja vu. Excuse me, boy. What's up, guys? So, Brad, you got some ass last night, huh? <laughs> nah, hey, what did you like to know? She was coming as we were leaving, man. No, nothing like that. She was just helping me out with a few things. You guys stole my stuff! <laughs> Jeff, how was your vacation? You think this shit's funny? You guys stole my stuff! Are you fucking serious right now? Are you all coked up out of your mind? Wouldn't surprise me. You guys better give me my shit back now. What do we steal, Jeff? We've been here all night. Look, I don't know why you think we stole your shit, but you better get out of my house. Oh, I better get out of your house? <sighs> Ready to give my shit back now? Huh? You gonna take this? <laughs> <laughs> And out you go. <laughs> ah, punk ass bitch. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? Oh man, you know, some guy. What's up, fellas? <laughs> Check the fellas, guess what I got? I got a thousand dollars, man. Very nice, Got man. to back up at the crib. Nice. You know, oh, man, great job, bro. How'd you score that? Hey, you know, just doing what I do. Man, you just missed it, man. Right before you got here, Brad beat the shit out of you. Nice. Hey, let me show you something. Take a look at what we scored. Okay, let's see what you got. Mm. I knew you would like that, Tommy boy. You scored big. All right. So check it. We're going to go drop this off and come back with your cut, man. Okay. So let me kick you 300 right now. You know what I mean? And we'll hit you back a little later. Sounds fair. Okay, right. cool. Let's roll, man. We got shit to All right. do. All right. There we go. There we, we go. go. Oh, oh no! Go. Come on, come on. Get up. Get Let's up. Hook. Oh, yeah. Son of a bitch. His ass cannot fight, man. He's a bum. Told you this guy cannot fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You obviously pick a bum. Sorry, man. Uh huh. You know what, man? Go ahead, keep it. I'm you not good? taking your money this time. This time. Appreciate that. Come on in. Bums you pick, man. What's up, guys? What's up, Brad? Tyrell. Danny. Tommy. You guys know each other? Yeah, you can say that, man. Listen, Brad, you got a party to go to tonight. And we got a little something extra for you. Oh, good. Want to come to a party? Nah, man. I'm good. That's all right, man. We'll just wait for you outside. You hanging with those guys? Yeah. That might be a mistake. That's a bad crowd right there. I'll be all right. Look, 
I said the same thing, but I got in too deep. Look, I cut ties with those guys, got out quick, cleaned up my life. Look, Brad, all I'm saying is that I don't want what happened to me to happen to you. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Okay, that's what I'm here for now. Let's get out of here. That yeah, sounds good to me. Hey, uh, do yourself a favor. Stop picking bums. Yeah, well, even the sun shines on a dog's ass sometimes, hot shot. <laughs> Where the hell were you guys last night? I went to Steve's place, Ooh. came here, I even went over to Pamela's. Oh shoot, didn't know you missed us that much, Danny boy. What time is it? It's six, at night. Yeah, we tried calling you, but it just went to voicemail. We just figured you got some ass. We ended up going to a few parties a little later, came back and crashed out. Yeah, we want to know what happened to my phone? Please, Danny, do tell us. It got jacked. Right after Jeff beat the crap out of me. My head is freaking killing me right now. Are you all right? I don't know. I think it might be kind of serious. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? <sighs> Jeff, he came up from behind me and tackled me to the ground and just went to town after that. Hit my head off the pavement a couple times and just kept hitting me. I think it's pretty serious, man. And you just let him beat you like that? Yeah, right. Like I had a choice. I was passed out. Shit, man, you could have done something. Okay, tough guy. Let's put you in the same situation and see how you do. I say we go up there right now. What do you say, Brad? Round two? Might as well. Just give it a rest. This will only take a moment. Get your lazy asses up. Move. <sighs> Fuck this motherfucker at. Got out of here quick. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Punk ass. You know what? Fuck this. Let's do another job. Who? I don't know. Somebody. We need to make some money. Are you guys down? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. You down? You yeah, good? Yeah, Let's down. go, baby. Come on, Tom. Let's go. How are you guys? We're good, man. What's up? Isn't Brad supposed to be with you? Man, he was just here, I swear. Easy, easy. I know where everything is, how it is, and how it's gonna be. I know you guys are taking care of business. Nice work. Damn right we are. So this is gonna be our last little meeting until I pay you off, if your final mission goes through smoothly. If there's another meeting before that, it's gonna be a waste of my time. 
but I'll know if the job gets done. Yeah? What is it? I need you to corrupt Brad for two more days and wipe his ass out. I want you to trash his apartment and never see him again. Got it? Do we ever get to know the whole point of all this? Daddy. That's okay. Just know it's for the greater good. And that's all you need to know. Good day, fellas. Whatever. guys doing here trying to make some money who the fuck is this what the fuck are you guys doing in here don't move don't oh, my trucks up Ooh, black hat. let's go come on get out of here okay. let's go talk to Why are you guys running back to my place? What the fuck? I don't know. All I know is you guys are running back to my place like you guys don't have anywhere else to run. If he identifies you to the cops, then they see you in my place. How is that going to make me look, huh? Look, man. Don't forget you were there too, all right? You get this cat, man? Look, I got shit to do. Don't you all have items to sell anyway? Just go back to your own damn place. Brad, why are you tripping for, man? I don't know, just... Okay, we'll call you later then. He's got a point. Danny, shut up. He'll be getting his soon. Real soon. Come on, man, let's bounce. again and hope that the third time's a charm or if i should just call you so i chose the latter <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that is everything okay um listen would you like to go out to dinner with me tonight dinner like uh a date yeah a date yeah sure where are we going it's a surprise oh, i love surprises just wear something nice. Okay. Pick you up around the uh, nine. Okay, see you then. Okay, see you then. Bye. <gasps> I got a date. I got a date. What am I gonna wear? What am I gonna wear?
What's up, guys? What's up, man? What's up, man? Any cops come by your place today? No, did you see any? Yeah, we saw a few cars parked down the street at that guy's apartment. Think Danny here was a better lookout for never being this mess. Hey, man, shut the fuck up. Steve's the one that found the house. Danny, what are you talking about? Don't do this. You know you're the one that found the spot, man. Just own up to it. Danny, have you lost your mind? You know damn well you found that spot. You know what? Just drop it. Fine, it's dropped. Good. Hey, can both of you just shut the fuck up? Whatever. Listen, Brad, it's pretty hot right now. We're gonna go to a party downtown. You driving? Am I driving? You come over to my place, automatically invite me, asking me if I'm driving? First of all, I can't. I have other plans. Second of all, even if I didn't have any other plans, I still wouldn't go. Why? There's beautiful women there, booze all night, drugs. Gonna be the best part of the year. He's right. Pamela's gonna be there too. Yeah. I could care less. All you guys wanna do is party, get drunk, and get laid. Then to get money, you guys steal from others. Hey, don't act all innocent over there. You broke into that guy's house without us even being there. You've been doing the same shit we've been doing. You're right. And it was a mistake. For the last three weeks, I didn't do anything to improve myself or my career because of you guys. Hey, you can stop hanging out with us anytime you wanted to. Yeah, man. Don't blame your problems on us. We didn't make you do anything that you didn't want to do. You're acting like you're Mr. Perfect over there. It ain't our problem that you're slacking, bro. You're right. I'm not blaming you guys. When we broke into Jeff's, remember I said he had it coming? No, we have it coming. We had it coming, we still have it coming. Karma, I'm out before it gets me too bad. What the fuck are you talking about? Yo, man, Steve, let's get the fuck up out of here, man. This motherfucker's losing it. Don't come back. Don't come back, Brad? That's what I said, I didn't stutter. You sure about that? Yeah. Man, let's roll, let's get out of here. Later. Hi. <laughs> hey. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Come on, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Have you been here? Oh, no, it's nice. I stumbled upon it, thought it might be good. <laughs> what are you guys doing tonight? Doing fantastic, how are you? Good, good. Thank you. My name is Jack, and I'll be serving you tonight. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, we'll have the 2003 Jean Cree Paso Roble, please. That's a great bottle. I'll be right back. Thank you. You're gonna love this wine. It's a red wine. It's warm. It tastes like black cherry, plum, and cedar, and has the flavors of black pepper, licorice, with a hint of raspberry. Wow, that sounds great. Quite the wine expert, are we? I have my moments. Wine can be very enjoyable at the right time. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is how it's gonna happen. I'll knock a couple times, and if you don't answer, we'll pick the lock. Danny, against my better judgment, you look out this time. Don't fucking turn your back on anyone. Man, fuck you. This is the first time that happened. Yeah. Well, as soon as we come out, keep watching. We'll dump the stuff in the back of the truck, and then we'll go back for round two. Got it? Let's do this. Let's go. So anyway, after I got rid of the crazy boyfriend, I moved out here. Just... It's so colorful and exciting and different here. You know, so I just need to get rid of all the drama in my life. Good for you, you made a stand. Yeah, but I wouldn't get rid of that experience for anything. It made me who I am today, you know? I think those experiences 
make you stronger. Well, you have to go through that type of stuff if you want success. There are many hardships along the way. It'll make you great, one step at a time. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. To happiness and success. <laughs> one step at a time. One step at a time. <laughs> Yum. Yo. Yo, Tommy, girl, what's this, this, man? Yeah, yeah. What's that? Oh, definitely gotta take this. <laughs> what's this, right? Here? Yo, alright. You see anything else? Oh, yeah, I'll take this. I always like to stop, Brad. Yeah, grab that laptop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is definitely look good about Alright, let's get out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's get out of here. In these dreams, I see these huge fights, brawls, arguments. In other ones, I see myself killing, slaughtering, torturing. I just don't understand it. Well, going through a lot right now. Fighting for this dream, and these demons are trying to defeat you. All this negative energy, it's a constant battle. It's okay because you have this certain driving force about you and it's really strong, Brad. I can tell, I believe in you. I know you can do it. What took you guys so long? All right, Tommy, let's go back for round two. Steve, you already got him, man. There's more though. Tommy, what the fuck, man? You getting soft on me? Danny, anybody see us? No. Good. Make sure. Tommy, let's go, man. Stop fucking around. Why you want to overdo it, man? We get greedy and we're going to get caught. No standing here having a heart to heart is how we get caught. Tommy, what the fuck, man? Fine, Steve. Fine. Let's go. Greedy. Now they fucking saw us, man. No, they didn't. They saw Danny and our car. Danny, they see us? Yeah. Man, fuck you, Steve. Man, fuck man, you. Man, fuck both of you. Man, whatever. Just shut the fuck up and drive, all right? Damn. great time with you tonight. Seems like you get me. You know where I'm coming from and it doesn't freak you out. Well, I've been there before too. It's different. I like you a lot. I like you too, Brad. You're a really great guy. I love that you're down to earth. Your natural beauty, your personality, elegance, strength, wisdom. You really listen and that means a lot. Wow. Brad. You know what? I feel terrible. I really do. I mean, this whole time, the time that we spent with one another, it's been mostly about me. I mean, I don't even know your favorite color, song, hobbies, books. I don't know. I'm just stuck in my head. I can't get past my thoughts. Brad, it's your vision. I mean, it's what drives you. I understand. It's fine. What? Would you like to uh, come up? We can talk some more. Like, up to your place? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on. <laughs> I want to know all about you. Which way? That way. Son of a bitch. They're, they're going to pay for this. <gasps> Brad, don't go after them. It's not worth it. I have to. Stay here. Okay, well, be careful. I'll call you shortly. Can I help you? How are you? 
I'm Detective Sullivan. Oh, how'd you know to come? Excuse me? Our place was just broken into. Oh, you so yours is broken into too? Yeah. What's your name? Brad Jenkins. Brad. Brad, a uh, number of places have been burglarized in the neighborhood. You have to know anything about that? My place was just burglarized. CDs, DVDs, hardware, computers. Come look around if you want. We can go up to my floor. Brad, the victim said two nights ago that you and three other guys ran back around here. He said you talked to a girl and went inside. He said he saw you hit him and run out along with the others. There were nine other places burglarized in the last two months. We have reason to believe that you were involved. Detective, I haven't been involved with any burglaries, let alone nine. I'm the victim here. I was just burglarized. I just moved here a couple of months ago for business and someone just robbed my stuff. Last couple of months I've been working. I met a couple of people in passing, but I don't really even know anybody. Call a file report. We can get a fingerprint specialist here if you like. Any questions or anything you think I should know? Give me a call. Absolutely, thank you, I will. Uh, one more thing. Any idea you may want to break into your place? Not a clue. Have a good night now. So, gentlemen, what's the word? To clean him out. Yeah, whatever, man. Come on, Tommy. You know you feel good about it. Going back for round two got us at least another $300. Look, man, I just got a bad feeling about this, all right? I mean, they saw Danny. They saw us the other day. I mean, in the last two months, man, we've done a lot. Brad, he knows it's us, man. He's probably going to tell the fucking cops. Brad wasn't involved. Why the fuck would he go to the cops? Well, I say no more. You don't got to do no more. It's done. He's finished. He's going to run home with his tail tucked between his legs, crying. My boss is going to be real happy to hear this. So you got some money for us, or what? Job well done, fellas. Thanks. If you ever need our help again, don't hesitate to ask. Right. You know, with this type of business, we can maybe start expanding outward. Look, man, I don't want to talk about this shit anymore, man, all right? Let's just get up out of here and hit up that party. Now, that is a very good idea, my friend. Just chill out, man. You're freaking out over nothing. Am I? I mean, we were fucking seen, man. This ain't no fucking joke. And Brad, he's definitely going to see the cops. Didn't I already say what I need to say about that? We were seen, so what? No videotape, no crime. Just chill out, man. We'll get the rest of the stuff off us first thing tomorrow morning. We made $300 plus this. What do you think about that, Danny? Whatever. Look, man, let's just get the fuck out of here, man. I need man, let's break. roll. What are you doing here? Who are you? You don't know what you're getting yourself into, kid. Why don't you get the fuck out of here and I'll forget we had this little chat. Paying a visit to the man who thought he could destroy me. <laughs> Mr. Jenkins, what brings you to my office at this late hour? So you're the guy who's been trying to kill my spirit. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Look, Mr. Jenkins, you're not cut out for this line of work. Bullshit and you know it. You're jealous. You're scared. Now that, my friend, is bullshit. You're threatened by my background. You thought that I could do a better job than you, so you decided to ruin me instead of facing the cold, harsh truth. I'm threatened by no one. Oh, yeah? Then why didn't you hire me? Why would you pay three thugs to get me out of the picture if you weren't threatened by me? Your fresh face and big dreams doesn't scare me. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to take over my company and work in from the ground upwards. But I see that. It's impossible. You haven't got the mentality or the vision or the heart to do what I've accomplished. I won't let it happen. I don't want your company. You can have it. Because in five years, it won't be worth nothing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because when my company comes along and kicks your ass, Everybody's gonna jump ship and come work for me. <laughs> you do have quite an imagination. You won't amount to shit. You will never get your shot.
What are you going to do now? What? You're going to kick my ass now? <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not worth it. But let me tell you something. When I make it, I'm really, really going to enjoy crushing your company. You're going to wish you never messed with Brad Jenkins. Hey, Tyrell, you down to take care of some business tonight? Uh, yeah, Brad, what's the deal? You know anyone else? Yeah, I know a guy. Why? What's up? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm intrigued. Tommy, Danny, and Steve. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm in. Yeah, I would hurry if I were you. Yeah, no doubt. Could be fun. Yeah, meet me at my crib. Okay. 10 o'clock. Got it. Shouldn't we be laying low tonight, man? Tommy, what's going Fuck. on, man? You just dropped it and realized you wanted to party. Now you're talking about it again. Just relax and don't worry. Fuck, man. You're not gonna ruin our night. I don't want to hear about this again. Hear about it again? You want to hear about it again? Who the fuck are you, motherfucker? Don't talk whoa, to me like hey, I'm some fucking kid. Whoa, whoa, kid. whoa, lighten up, Tommy. You need to get you laid, man. Damn right you need to get me laid. What, all of a sudden I gotta hook you up? You remember me? <laughs> 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 the suitcase. I had to come over before I left. I'm taking your advice. We're getting out of here and starting from square one. I'm gonna play solo for a while and really try to find myself and get down to business. Brad, you know you can do all that here. I can't. So much has happened. Things I want to tell you, things I can't tell you. You don't have to tell me anything that you don't want to. I just had to see you before I left. You make it sound so permanent. There's just not much to do besides business. So, that's it. You're gonna go and I'm not gonna see you or talk to you again. Jamie, you're great. Amazing. It's just, I have so much to do and I just can't get involved with anyone until I achieve my goals. I need complete focus right now. I mean, I, I'd be the worst boyfriend. You deserve better. I understand. I mean, I still want to keep in contact. Absolutely, I would still love to talk. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, and when I come over, we can meet up. I'd like that. It's just gonna take a while for me to get back on the right track and do everything I need to do. It's gonna be a full-time thing, but I'll get there. But you're leaving so soon, but like your furniture and... It was already furnished. Where are you gonna go? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. More than you'll ever know. Look, I know it's been tough on you. 
but look back on it one day and laugh and god the stories you're gonna have <laughs> yeah Thank you for believing in me. It's nice to have someone to finally believe in. You won't forget to call, right? Of course not. Okay, none of that little call twice and hang up thing. <laughs> <laughs> gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. Bye, Brad. Take care, okay? Okay. Bye, Jamie. I'll see you soon. <sighs> Definitely. No goodbyes, Jamie. It's been a crazy journey so far, and I feel that I've learned a lot of valuable life lessons so I can put in my tool belt and be able to use that at will when I need it. I have my tools fine-tuned now. I have no regrets, for I've learned a lot, and it made me much stronger. I have to go back to the basics and build, but that's okay because it's a journey, and I'm prepared to learn what I need to do and do what I have to do so I can continue to learn life's valuable lessons so it can help me maneuver through and endure life's challenges. I know now what I need to do and how to do it. My plan is even more clear. I have to follow my plan, build myself from the ground up, one step at a time, one day at a time, one sprint at a time, no cutting corners, no breathers. It's my time. March 2009. I will be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company within five years. A, get a job to make money. Have one in four days. One, Rick's Bagels. Two, Little City Cafe. Plans and deadlines are the key. My plan is even more clear. Stay focused, go back to the drawing board, lay down the foundation, keep it simple. And here we go.
I remember that one time. It was strange. This is so great. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, what's <laughs> wrong? I'd like to make a toast. This evening is dedicated to my family and friends. Without you, I would not be where I am today. <laughs> Trying to put the pieces back Gotta keep pushing on Gotta keep your head on track Falling out of place Trying to glue the pieces back Gotta keep pushing on You say you keep it moving But we pushing on We keep on pressing play Why you stuck on pushing bars? We trying to set the pace Keep the phonies in they place It's for the love of the music It ain't the paper, it's the chase Every time that we feel we need to take a break Gotta keep pushing on Gotta think about the stakes Gotta get past the fakes, the breaks, the heartaches It takes more than just being awake So we get up, go out, grow up, move out Suit up, sell out But I try to keep to myself So I make beats, stay low, head up, get low Make beats the process, keep your ear to the flow And ride the rhythm till they fit them to your ear Drums hit them with the beats, they don't get them Starting out into the rhythm, let them line up Sign up, come right up to the front So with everybody real, won't you tell me what you want? The process. Know what I mean? Know, 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 know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know, know, know what I mean? Know, 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 know what I mean? The process. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know, know what I mean? Pushing forward in a different direction The subtle hints that kept me guessing So I stay manifesting My father's anguish in the form of all his secret confessions Finding dollars for our problems Making harder connections Constant progression for the sake of the past regressions The process keeps it moving while we choosing Lyrical professions The same obsessions that spark the love and affection Music movement aimed at launching a collective progression Yo Taking steps in the direction of perfection Since my first verse, I've been known to take the worst and make the best shit Thinking about the times I felt defeat Would I repeat the times I fell or could I stay up on my feet? Breathe is this where you wanna be? Taking the doubts about my ins and outs and turning them into history And misery is gone, we push it on and keep it moving Pursuing fluid movements to improve the root of music It's the process the process. Know what I mean 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 Yo, what I get that girl, what I get that car, what I get that stack, what I get that cash, what I get that plane, when I get those threads, when I get that cream, you know I got my fame. Chilling on my island, styling, wink that a girl and catch her, smiling, dialing, in on a boss, so rigorous, serious, drilling on the sand, delirious. 
whole nother world, whole nother feeling, darling, pardon as I go on to the next and get that check in cash, stash in a bag, mash in a jag, down that boulevard of all them dreams, smack that hard, then get that cream, yeah. talking out the lip like I was really crazy, shooting from the hip like now really pay me, a whole lot of sacks and whole lot of cash, and grab that bag and I got that stash, now we break bread, just throw it on a tab, lot of fans back to the lab what i get that girl what i get that car what i get that stack what i get that cash what i get that plane what i get those threads when i get that cream you know i got my fame what i get that girl what i get that car what i get that stack what i get that cash what i get that plane when i get those threads when i get that cream you know i got my fame Alidocious, hocus pocus, lose your focus. I'm in the back, token and choking. SPL, poke it, slice, sleep it open. Hoping you voted for the very most dope. Uh -huh. Fuck it, I'm on the rope, side of joke. Yeah. Here's an opi dope, yo, alone with your phony C no. Yeah. Count on me out on day one, but doubt of me now. It's bad for your health. Yeah. Ride on me how? Ah. I wipe all your money and your cash flow out. It's funny, you really can't put me out. Come on. I run this game with ease, my name overseas. On the streets, I'm all about my cheese. Uh, so keep chilling, staying on my grind. Peeling to the line like a matter of time. Till I get mine, then I'm here to stay. It's unlocked, it's my fate. What more can I say? What I get that girl, what I get that car, what I get that stack, what I get that cash, what I get that play, what I get those threads, what I get that cream, you know I got my fame. What I get that girl, what I get that car, what I get that stack, what I get that cash, what I get that play, what I get those threads, what I get that cream, you know I got my fame. I'ma get that cash, quick make the money fast, make it down last. The flip I stick to get the cash, bit to the bottom. Now I'm climbing to the top. Grab to the girl, still hate, cause I'm gonna stop. Maybe get to the rock, line, go and get the jet plane. Fortune 5 running, man, stocks like a jet stream. Money, not a wet dream. Buses wanna test me, These girls wanna test me, but I'm still sucking, ducking. Ernie, made off, pay off, Ponzi schemes, Frank's in, dividends, cheese. Swiss bank accounts overseas. Fortune 500, man, still playing the clear to see. What, what, what I get that girl, what I get that what I get that stack, what I get that cash, what I get that play, when I get those threads, when I get that cream, you know I got my fame. What I get that girl, when I get that car, what I get that stack, what I get that cash, when I get that play, when I get those threads, when I get that cream, you know I got my fame.